Chicago walking. <laughs> we have officially crossed seven states in 15 days, way faster than we wanted to go at any point in the trip, but we did it and we are in Chicago. And we're gonna be here for three days and then going on to Indiana and then Michigan, where we want to spend at least a week and a half, maybe two weeks, um, and start going really slow from here. But yeah, while we're in Chicago, right now we're going to get some Indian street food at Honest, what's it called? It's called Honest. Uh, it's a street food restaurant, Indian street food restaurant. Um, we're gonna get that, then go to our uh, Cracker Barrel parking lot sleep situation for tonight. Um, then tomorrow we go to the library for work, Anila's work, and we're gonna do a bunch of school for Nasa so while we're there. And then we have a computer that you're gonna use. And then from the library, we're going to a community center to shower, and then we're gonna be exploring Chicago for three days. So why don't you stick around and come along and enjoy Chicago with us as we drive dreams around Chicago. Or walk dreams around Chicago, I guess you could say. We got Indian street food, baby. Thick Indian aloo veggie sandwich with Wait. the ruffles on top. I'm gonna eat this. Okay. Watch me. Eat it. <laughs> How is it? How is your ruffle? Okay. All right. So we are in Chicago. Um, we've been here for three days now. Two nights we spent at a hotel by the airport, the Chicago O'Hare International Airport. Um, which is about only about 10 miles from the downtown Chicago, but it takes close to an hour to drive there because of traffic. Um, and it's been storming since we got here, but the storm is finishing off. So we are going into downtown right now, um, to spend the rest of the day in downtown where our first stop is at the, uh, I don't remember exactly what it's called, which library it is, but... Uh, Harold Washington Library Center. Pretty much the biggest work. library for her to finish her work for the day. And Nasa to do some school. Um, and then from there, we're gonna explore downtown Chicago. We have, did we get the city pass thing? Yeah. So we have this city pass, which is uh, we can go to five different attractions that are on their list. Um, all included in our city pass ticket. So we're gonna decide what we're gonna do exactly. We mostly know what we're gonna do, but we'll figure it out as we go along if that's what we're gonna stick to. Um, but yeah, we're excited to see downtown Chicago because we've been here for three days. Anila's itching, fiending to get into the, <laughs> to see what we're actually here for. Uh, Cause we've been stuck at the hotel because of storms and work and school, and school. Um, but today's the day now's the time we're going in into the thick of it <laughs> uh, one quick impression that we did notice of Chicago already is the cultural diversity it's pretty cool yeah, um, yeah looking around the map there's there's like there's a whole little Italy there's Chinatown there's Greek town. There's a big, giant uh, Indian population here. There is 
this uh, Eastern European market where we've been going for our food so far. It's down the street from the hotel, but it's a chain. And the location we went to, at least, is big and clean and nice and filled with Eastern European products. Um, so that's something we kind of noticed about like a big city. There's lots of diversity. There's lots of different people here from all over the world, and they have their own communities aside from being Chicago natives or uh, nationals or uh, from where they're from or living in Chicago, they're also part of their communities here, which is pretty, pretty neat. Um, anyways, we have a big, uh, we have a big train or what, what's it called? Like, we have a big network of our electronics charging in here. We have <laughs> everything's hooked up, uh, hooked up to each other. Our EcoFlow, Blue Eddy, our fridge, um, charging different things because we charged Blue Eddy in the hotel last night. EcoFlow is lonely out here, uh, and the fridge is down on battery. So we have everything powering up. Driving into downtown Chicago. We'll see you there. Though Chicago ended up being one of our favorite places that we have been to so far on the trip, and our favorite big city in a number of categories, we did notice that the infrastructure seemed to just be crumbling, and we think it has something to do with being such a big city requiring so many resources. Also being in the far north can't help what with the frigid winters, but it is surely mostly to do with the lack of funding for America itself out of the massive spending budget that the government sets out each year. Because money spent elsewhere can't be spent on infrastructure, and this is a real out in the open problem in the US right now, and something that we noticed during our travels so far as just a glaring issue, basically everywhere the infrastructure is crumbling. And it was interesting to actually see with our own eyes in such an obvious way going into one of the biggest cities in the country. But speaking of the massive size of population in Chicago, something that has always interested me and which also stood out obviously is the way developers stack so many people on top of each other in cities to make space for all of them. I know there is a better way to plan and organize cities and this is not optimal, what with being around a century or more old planning. But it was cool to see so many people cohabitating one place. It's good for nature so we don't keep cutting down trees for development. So after driving around quite a bit looking for parking, um, because we had reserved a spot, but we didn't fit in the garage with our roof box on Spicy. So we, I drove around and finally Anila finished work and we decided just to get another uh, like lot spot, like in a, private lot or in a gated lot so we did that it was $15 for the whole day which is cheap relatively cheap for here um, and then now we're going we have to find breakfast slash lunch and <laughs> lunch it's 12 o'clock something so we have to find some food and then we're going to the aquarium where is this thing So we got some good old American burgers for breakfast, lunch. They were pretty good. Uh, I didn't get any shots of it for you all because I noticed halfway through eating it and I didn't want to be rude and show you our half-eaten food. But it was pretty good. We got fries, milkshake. How was your food? Yummy. And I ate a tiny bit of daddy's burger. Uh -huh. Me, I'm Daddy, and she know she learned that she likes burgers, at least Impossible Burgers, which are veggie burgers. <clears throat> she likes them, so that's cool. I, I only Another food like, added to the menu. I only like burgers if they 
have only the two bread slices and the burger pat in the middle. No vegetables. She mm -hmm. had the, the no vegetable section of my burger. All right, after a 20 minute walk, we have changed plans and are now going to the Fields Museum. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but Anila chose it instead of the aquarium for right now. We're gonna go to the aquarium tomorrow because it is actually about to close for today. And then we're also gonna go to the planetarium tomorrow in the evening. The so, science museum tomorrow! And the science museum tomorrow. So for now, we're going to the Fields Museum. This sound room is one of the per first places that we stopped during our trip into Field Museum and it was super cool to me. Having been raised playing the drums from a young age, I enjoyed seeing the collection of different types of drums. We learned a lot at this extensive museum, including that deer in different regions are different sizes due to the varying temperatures. The deer in Florida that I grew up around are tiny compared to northern deer, as you can see in this infographic on the screen now. We also learned that giraffes have double the blood pressure of humans due to their long necks and having to pump their blood from their chests all the way up to their tall heads. In this demonstration, we were able to try to pump the blood up the neck, and it was quite difficult. All good-hearted giraffes. The front and back work independently, and they jump. Huh. Run. They're not using all their four legs. This guy, the cheetah, is faster than spicy. Look at him. Our maximum speed is about 60 miles an hour, sometimes 65. Cheetahs can run that fast. So we better not get in any fights with any cheetahs and hope to get away with spicy. Next, we went through an imagination-based simulator to mimic a shrinking small enough to explore the underground world of bugs. Why am I tiny? Is Almost complete. We're going underground, that's why we shrink. Super tiny, what happens? Mm -hmm. Die. If we are if we if we are actually this tiny, then then it would be impossible to move. Hmm. Because the smaller you are, the harder it is to move. Look, this is this is how tall we are. Couple inches tall. That's how yeah. tall we are. Yeah, that's how tall we are right now. Couple inches. Yeah. It looks like we're our exact same height. It's because we all shrank together. This is what? Root root. Break big blue step. Fungi, fungal height. Oh, look at that. It's a wolf spider. They, the wolf spiders live in 
These giant dinosaur fossils in the lobby are only replicas, but they are made from real casts. So they are true to size and shape. We were able to access a few specialty temporary exhibits thanks to our city pass, including the first Kings of Europe, and afterwards a large exhibit around the topic of death. And they were quite extravagant exhibits for being temporary pop-ups. There was so much knowledge to soak up and perspective to gain, it was all inspiring and we only hope Nasa gained some added perspective in her growing mind. I only recorded some of the exhibits in the spirit of not ruining the experience for others or ourselves, others who might want to go in person, but I hope you all can catch the vibe of the place through my footage. That's, I think, a decomposed one. It says indole. Moth ball like smell. smell. is created when bacteria break down certain amino acids in an environment. Mommy, smell this. It's still not great, but it, it's strong. So I'm currently waiting on the girls. They're going to the bathroom because they have to. And I am sitting down with my giant backpack to rest my back because this backpack is crazy heavy. Um, but this museum is pretty epic. It is huge and there's some really extensive and well-maintained exhibits with genuine findings from thousands of years. Um, there's all, all sorts of things here. We went to a First Kings of Europe exhibit, which was a nice walkthrough. It took us about 20 minutes. And I went through the history, a, a lot of the history from early, early Europe all the way to um, the most recent royals. Then there was also a um, uh, exhibit on death, which was very powerful. We read pretty much every placard and it walked us through um, how different different cultures view death and how they go about it uh that was a pretty powerful exhibit now we're going to a movie a movie that we have signed up for um with our ticket it's a little add-on but it's actually it's free with our with our city pass um but it's in about 10 minutes, so after they go to the bathroom, they're gonna come out and we're gonna go to that video. It's a 20 minute video. I don't remember which one Nasa selected because she selected it, but yeah, we'll see how that is. But this museum is pretty awesome. Dinosaurs of Antarctica are, is our showing in this large, grand, empty theater. So far, not a soul besides us three Sorry, souls miss. and the lady that let us in. Sorry, miss. Look at Nessa, can you take this? Nessa, look at me. Hey. <laughs> Nessa, how was Dinosaurs of Antarctica? How was the movie? It was a 3D movie. You liked it? Did you learn anything or it was just cool to watch? Mm -hmm. All that I learned is that we should never wish to be a dinosaur. Why? Because each dinosaur had its own predator. Oh yeah, they sure were mm -hmm. in danger all the time. Mm -hmm. That's a good, good uh, 
Just notice. Museum was awesome. Then we had some, we went to a bakery, which was really nice. Got some holdover food until dinner because we didn't really eat too well today. Um, and anyways, now we are headed back to the hotel a little bit earlier than we projected, but um, we're saving most of the things to do for tomorrow and then the next day before we leave Chicago. But um, this message brought to you by Chicago Traffic. And we would not be driving you around the Americas if we didn't show you some of the big city traffic. And that's it for this episode. Hit thumbs up and come back next time for episode 13 of season 2 of Driving Dreams.